Hi, I'm Adra. Welcome to your yoga practice. Today our whole practice is going to be down low on the ground. So let's get started. Go ahead and come all the way down on your back. So coming down however you'd like. Then pull your knees in towards your chest. And just start by rocking a little side to side. Finding center. Release your feet down to the ground with your knees bent. Ankles are about underneath the knees. Arms alongside the body. On your next exhale, tuck your pelvis under and slowly peel your spine off of the mat. Lifting up into a bridge. Inhale at the top of your bridge. Feeling those glutes working. And exhale, slowly lower back down. Bone by bone, massaging that spine. Once your pelvis meets the mat, take an inhale. And then exhale, slowly peel your spine off the mat once again. Inhale at the top and hold, pushing the feet down into the mat. And exhale, slowly lower down. Once again, find that inhale once you reach the mat. And exhale, peel the spine up. So this time you'll stay in your bridge once you're there. And go ahead and hold that bridge. And feel your feet really firmly planted into the ground. Push those arms down into the ground. And just notice, where is your body making contact with the mat? Two more breaths here. And then to move out of this, we'll lift up onto the tips of the toes. You might want to scoot your feet back a little bit just so that the ankles are still underneath your knees. Reach your arms overhead, palms face up. Take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly articulate your spine down, but keep reaching those arms overhead. Once you find the ground, pull your knees towards your chest and rock a little side to side. Recenter yourself and find tabletop legs. So knees are over your hips, shins are parallel ish to the ground. You'll move your hands to the tops of the thighs, so where you can see maybe just the tips of the fingers. Press your low back into the mat. Feel your abdominals start to fire up. If it feels okay, you'll push your hands into your legs and your legs into your hands. So you should feel your abs really fire up here. Jaw is relaxed. Shoulders away from the ears. Keep pushing the low back down and hands into legs, legs into hands. It's totally okay if you start to shake a little bit. And release. Hug your right knee into your chest and reach your left leg up towards the ceiling. You'll lower your left leg towards the mat and then lift it right back up towards the ceiling. So add some breath. Inhale, lower the leg. Exhale, lift it back up. If you'd like, you can add some movement of the foot. Flex the foot as the leg lowers and point the foot as the leg lifts. Try and find some stability in your torso and keep the movement to just that leg moving in the hip socket. Next time that left leg is towards the mat, go ahead and pause. Lift your shoulders and your head off the ground. Move your right hand behind your head so you're just supporting your neck. And move your left hand kind of towards the knee and thigh. And you'll push your left hand into your right knee and your right knee into your left hand. Low back presses down and you should feel your abs here. A little shake is fine. Back is down. Hand is pushing into leg, leg into hand. And relax. 
pull that left knee in and stretch the right leg up towards the sky. Moving with the breath, inhale, lower the right leg towards the mat. And exhale, bring it back up. So moving at your own pace here. And same thing as on the other side. If you want to add some ankle movement, flex the foot as the leg lowers and point as it rises. Soft jaw and neck. Next time your leg is towards the mat, go ahead and pause. Lift the shoulders and the head off the mat. Low back pushes down. Support your head with your left hand, and then move your right hand towards the thigh or the quad. You're going to push the right hand into your left thigh, knee area, knee into hand. So pushing there, finding that contact. Keep pushing the low back into the mat. You should feel your abs here. Almost there. And relax. All right, go ahead and roll to one side. I'm going to lay down on my right side, but you can do either side. And support your head with your arms. Knees are going to be bent. Your heels are in line with your hips. And those knees are kind of pointing, kind of at a diagonal. Keep your heels connected. Pull your ribs in. And we'll start to open up that top knee up towards the ceiling and then back down. As you do this, think about squeezing the glutes and the hip when you reach the top. Next time the leg is open, go ahead and pause and then lift your feet off the ground. Flexing the feet so the heels are touching. You're going to keep this right leg right where it is, or your bottom leg right where it is. Keep the left knee or top knee exactly where it is. And then straighten and bend that top leg. Next time that leg is straight, pause, hold for a second. Relax that jaw. And release, relax. From here, go ahead and bend your knees a little bit more so those knees are in line with your hips now. And reach that right arm out to the side into a T position. Let your head come down to the ground. So for some people, the head down to the ground is really uncomfortable, so you might need to fold up some uh, blankets or a towel or bring a pillow under your head. And bring your palms to touch. And then keep your knees connected. You'll slowly slide that left arm or top arm along the bottom arm. Cross your chest and then open it out to the side and then re-bend that elbow, unwind, running the hand along the arm. And keep going here, finding a little twisting action. The wall's in my way, but if you can, you'll go ahead and let your arm straighten all the way down. The next time you're open into that twist, go ahead and pause. Knees try and stay connected, chest is nice and open. All right, and we'll release and roll to the other side. So if you want, you could just roll on your back and roll over to the other side. I'm going to sit up and swing myself around just so that I'm still facing you. So bottom arm supports the head. Knees are bent. Ankles are in line with your hips. Right arm or top arm can be in front of you. We'll start with those clamshells. Opening up that top knee, feeling a little squeeze here, and then lowering it back down. Just stabilizing our hips, which can help a lot if you have any back stuff going on. Also for your knees. Keeping you nice and low to the ground. Just 
next little add on. You're going to open up that top knee and then lift your feet. Flex your feet. Nice, good squeeze. Keep that bottom leg up so don't let that foot start to drop. Pull your ribs in. Then you'll straighten and bend that top leg. Try not to clench your jaw. The next time the leg is straight, go ahead and pause, hold. Might feel a little shake, maybe not. And release. Knees line up with the hips. Pull that left shoulder or bottom shoulder from underneath you and let your head come down. Again, if you need to, bring a towel or something under your head if the ground feels kind of far. Keep your knees connected. Hands will connect. And then we'll start to slide the top arm along the bottom arm. Open up, start to twist towards the ceiling. Reach that right elbow down towards the ground and then straighten that right arm. Again, I have the wall in my way, but you can straighten the arm all the way if you have the space. Go ahead and re-bend that right elbow or top elbow. Slide the arm across the chest, across the arm. And just keep going, letting your head just move naturally. Notice that tendency or that desire for the hips to move with you. And there's nothing wrong with that, but if it feels okay, try and keep the hips kind of stable, one on top of the other. Keep the knees one on top of the other. Next time you're in that twist, go ahead and pause. Hold for a few breaths. breath or so. And go ahead and unwind, moving to our back. Take your time to get there. Once you're there, pull the knees in towards the chest. You can stay right here or go ahead and grab for the feet for happy baby. You've got the outsides of the feet or the big toes. You can rock a bit. You can also be still, so just listening to what your body is craving. And then find center. Press your sacrum towards the mat, kind of reaching that tailbone down. Pause for a second. Take a nice deep inhale, fill up completely. And exhale, let it go. Release. Maybe those legs go long down the mat. And let's let the hands rest on the body today. So maybe on your belly. Shoulders soft. Either the eyes are closed or you can soften your gaze. Start to feel the breath beneath your hands. And take a moment to notice where you're connected to the ground. yourself feel supported, held by the earth beneath you. And also supported and held by your palms, your hands above you.
free to stay here for as long as you'd like. Whenever you're ready to come out of it, just take a moment to acknowledge yourself for showing up, showing up to take care of your mind and your body. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today.